Aluminum extrusion plants around the world are turning to best practices programs to improve productivity, quality, and consistency of performance in the key elements of the extrusion process. Unfortunately, in many cases, the systems and procedures used to implement these standards are often too complex or ineffective. However, with the innovative Temperature Process Control System, or TPC system, developed in a joint partnership by Williamson Corporation, a world leader in non-contact temperature measurement systems, and SAI Automation, a world leader in electronic automation products and software, for the aluminum extrusion industry, it is now possible to implement a best practices program which is comprehensive, effective, and simple to use. The TPC system provides closed-loop control, enabling aluminum extruders to optimize the key elements of the extrusion process. With the closed-loop control system, there are significant gains in throughput and quality, as well as reports to help analyze the entire process. The system is built using a central database which contains the recipes for each die. The operator sets up each order at the press. This is done using the order manager and the die recipe database. As the order is run at the press, the closed loop control system automatically adjusts the press speed and billet temperature to run to recipe standards, maximizing both throughput and quality. With the graphical process trends and extensive data-rich reports, it is possible to further analyze and optimize the recipe for future orders. The TPC system offers a modular and flexible design which can be implemented in a wide range of environments. The foundation of the system is the Essentials module which includes a new PLC at the press which will work with your existing controls, a PC at the press to run the system, and a sensor to measure the profile temperature at the press exit. The operator console is the main screen used by the operator to run the system. It is broken up into four key quadrants. The top left section of the operator console screen contains the Run to Recipe monitor, which displays all current recipe operating parameters. Five columns show recipe set points, actual set points, current billet actual values, previous billet actual values, and order status. The bottom left quadrant provides operators with a performance summary. Process data is displayed for the previous completed billet as well as an average for the entire order. Production data is also displayed for the order as well as the current shift. The operator can also press the Process Trends button. This real-time display of press activity consists of five critical process measurements. The yellow line measures the temperature set point for the order. The top blue line shows the profile temperature. The quench temperature is shown in purple. The ramp speed is shown in green and the extrusion pressure displayed in red. Other process data is also organized at the bottom of the screen. The control monitor is the heart of the TPC closed loop system. To switch from manual to automatic operation, simply click the control button to enable the speed and temperature control. The TPC system uses live temperature inputs and learning-based architecture to continuously tune the process so that extrusion times are reduced and consistent quality is maintained. Specific controls include dynamic speed control, step change speed control, and billet temperature control. The speed offset adjustments from the TPC system are used to adjust the starting speed of the press to maintain the target profile temperature in the die recipe. The billet temperature offset 
applies to the set point in the final zone of the billet furnace to optimize the breakthrough time and pressure of each billet. In this example, the dynamic speed offset is continuously adjusting the speed of the press during the extrusion of the billet to maintain the optimal press exit temperature. At the end of the billet, the billet counter increases and the system makes any required adjustments to the step change speed and billet temperature for the next billet. With the Essentials module, the operator simply selects the die copy for the order to load the recipe into the system. In this example, with the Management module, the system tracks and manages each order number and die copy at the press. To organize orders at the press, click the Order Manager button to view a list of orders in the system. These orders can be entered manually at the press or automatically via an interface with the plant production system. Using the sequence column, the list of orders can be sorted to the schedule at the press. The schedule can be revised or adjusted at any time simply by using the next order column. Here the operator can manually input the order number, select the die, and input product information like product quantity, finish length, percent overrun quantity, and percent overrun finish length. To clarify, with the Essentials module, the operator is only required to select the die copy. No order information is required. The recipe detail screen is used to manage the target values to operate each die copy at the press. From this screen, the operator can edit and save optimal recipe values. In this example, the operator is setting checkboxes so that the critical recipe values can automatically be loaded into the controls. A product calculator is included with the optional management module. Using the white editable fields, the operator can configure the order and the system automatically calculates the production parameters such as billet length and number of billets. From the operator console, it is a simple procedure to run each order with the optimal recipe values. After the last billet of an order is run, the operator then clicks the Confirm Die Change button and is prompted to select a reason for the die change, which is saved to the system reports. The new recipe is loaded into the current order, which updates the process set points for optimal performance on the new order. The control cycle begins again by simply pressing a single button to turn on the speed and temperature controls. Advanced TPC reports make it easy to quantify and prioritize production performance at the press. When a report is selected, the system will prompt the user for a password. Once entered and accepted, the user can customize specific reports in a variety of ways, including by date range, shift, etc. The report is generated and is immediately available to be viewed on the screen. The user can also export the report and save it for later analysis. The addition of a TPC closed-loop system pays immediate benefits for aluminum extruders, including increased press speeds, improved product quality, and improved production scheduling. For more information on how a TPC closed-loop system can improve your process, contact the experts at Williamson.
Thank you.